YouTube friends, Ben here with the 60 gallon grow out tank. And today we're going to talk about the Placidochromus Johnstoni. He likes to hang out in the upper right hand corner of the tank. He is, um, you know, he's in lake wide distribution throughout Lake Malawi. Certainly not in any um, on any extinction list, and he, uh, as you can see in the photos I'm going to show you, he he gets uh, he colors up very nicely. He maintains those uh, those bars on his body throughout his life, and colors up very nicely in the face and finish as he gets older. As you can see here on a couple of photos of adults that I pulled off the internet. This photo is from Tampa Bay Cichlids, which is where I picked up my John Stoney. And there's, there's information all over the internet on this particular fish. He might end up being a little bit too small for the 135. And again, I kind of let my... Uh, my eyes get ahead of my research. I like the fish. I like the way he looked. He was listed as a hap. I went ahead and ordered him. But um, on doing more research and discovering that he really gets to about maybe seven, maybe seven inches, seven to eight inches possibly. And um, that might make him a little bit too small for the size of, um, of haps what people are calling predator haps that'll end up in that 135. So maybe, maybe I'll end up keeping him here in the in the 60, cohabiting with you know, cohabitating with the uh, peacocks that will be in this tank, which will be a similar size. You know, I may end up with a couple of the fish staying in this tank for a little bit, you know, a little longer. But he's a beautiful fish, Plastochromus John Stoney. Supposedly has a good temperament. Some of the fish here in the 60 might be ready to go over to the 135. Certainly that John, that uh, Living Stoney, asserting himself there. This fellow might just be ready to transfer over to the 135. What he lacks in size, he makes up in attitude. So he might do fine over there. I've also had some sudden uh, growth spurts I've noticed from uh, one of the Vanissus. All of a sudden, if you remember, they were the size of a, they were smaller than a thumbnail when I got them. And this one back here is probably pushing a couple inches now. And it wasn't that long that I picked him up. Three for ten dollars at a local fish store. So um, one of those Venusas will probably be going over that 135 pretty soon, especially if he gets pretty big, along with the VC tens and maybe even the Fusco, if he continues to put on some size. Remember in a prior video, the Linny was back in the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the Linny was back in the quarantine tank, but is now back here swimming around. He is going after food, and he's looking a lot healthier, a lot more active. Before I transferred him back to the uh, quarantine tank, he was just simply laying around the rocks and not going after food. So that's never a good sign. But he's eating again, and he, so he's back in the main tank and hopefully he'll, uh, he'll continue to do well. The Bucochromus spectabilis um, spent the last several months nipping and going after each other, and now they're kind of hanging out together. So the three of them are just sort of hanging out in the group, and so they've turned the corner in their relationship somehow and uh, are no longer out to get each other continuously. 
The super red empresses are continuing to look beautiful, as you can see. And the living stone that continues to uh, boss everybody around, even though he doesn't mess with the um, Taiwan Reef. And he doesn't mess with the intermediates. Okay, so that's it for now. This will probably be my last um, Juvie Hap Nation video for a while, unless I add, you know, add a few. I might be picking up a small gar. We'll see. Polystigma's markings are looking beautiful, but we'll see. And uh, but for now, this is the last uh, Juvie Hap Nation fish focus video, and I thank you for for uh, watching them and. Uh, going along with me on this Juvie Hap Nation tour <laughs> journey where I've learned uh, quite a bit about my fish. It's kind of forced me to to uh, study up and, uh, and it's been a, a real pleasure making these videos and sharing them with you. All right, so thank you so much for watching. And that's it for now.